We are at the Charlotte Motor Speedway for the 12th race of Season 2 of the SCRL Wrangler Jeans Busco National Series. The double zero of Riley Spelly Tube, who won earlier in the season at Hickory, will be leading us to the green flag. And start beside him is Martinsville race winner Diego Yepes. Rest of the starting lineup for today's race. All 42 drivers here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Yeah, a packed crowd. Look at all the fans in the stands. Yep, Charlotte. 40 laps is the distance for today's race, and we are going full throttle yet again. The AI will not be holding back. This is the third time we are racing here at Charlotte. In Season 1, Todd Kennedy won the spring race, and in the fall, John Ard won that race. None of those drivers are here today. So, yeah, Charlotte. Nothing more to say, really. 12th race of the season. We've had a different winner each and every race. Tony Newman won the last race. So Tony Newman will be looking to win back-to-back -back races. He is starting in the 14th spot. So, will this be a wreck fest of a race? Will this be an action-packed race? Or will this be a snooze fest like Bristol was? We shall see in a couple of moments. And without any further ado, here are the most famous words in motorsports. The field is rolling off. Doesn't look like anybody's having any problems, which is always a good thing. You don't want to see someone stall up. So, the front row, we have two former winners this season. Riley Sperley Tube won on the short track at Hickory. Diego Yepes won the short track at Martinsville one race later. Riley Sperley Tube is the only driver to win in season one and two. So, as of right now, it is lonely at the top for Riley Spurly Tube. Looking to get his third career Bush Series win, which would tie him with Jack Legacy for the most. But there are 41 other drivers looking to play spoiler to Riley Spurly Tube's third career win. Pull them belts tight. We are racing 40 laps here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Pace car pulls in. And Riley's probably two puts the hammer down. We're racing here at Charlotte. Field heading off towards turn number one. The 88 already scraping the wall. Into turn number two. Down to backstretch for the first time under green conditions. Here comes the number 90 car, Matt Boyer, who stalled up at Bristol, trying to rebound. And he will clear the double zero. And Matt Boyer will lead a lap here at Charlotte. One down, 39 to go. Into turn number two. Patrick Smith, our North Wilkesboro last place finisher, moves up to second place. Semi Semi Jr. in third now, but here comes James Stabilito to the inside. Nope. And a turn number four. And Matt Boyer will lead yet another lap. Matt Boyer looking for his first SCRL sanctioned win. Patrick Smith in second place, trying to have a good season for the first time in his career. 
And Matt Boyer leads another lap. Here comes Semi Sabby Jr. in the 17 car, trying to make this a three car race. Matt, D Matt Boyer keeps the race lead. It's still a three car race. Here comes the eight, Eli Bright being pushed by Riley Spurley Tube. Eli Bright, a winner in season one at Bristol and the fall event. Semi Semi Jr. is going for second place. Can he clear the 45? It doesn't look like it yet. Nope. And we are back to single file. And I am surprised you have not had an incident yet. I probably just jinxed it saying that. As these drivers in the back trying to stay off the wall, stay off of each other. There's the car that won in season two. Chris Kyle driving that car. Won earlier in the season at North Wilkesboro. Trying to give that car its second win here at this track. And you can see Sammy Sabby Jr. did in fact pass the number 45. So Sammy Sabby Jr. is now in second place. Looking to lead yet again this season. Eli Bright in third. So second, third, fourth. Have all won races. The 45 has not. So we got a rookie leading a couple of veterans. Although Sammy Savage Jr. is still technically a rookie in his career. Competed in the East Series. Won that championship. And trying to go under the 90 car. Just can't get the fender under. Of course, if you get stuck on the high side, you're you're done, basically. Al Legacy trying to pass Riley Spurley, too. This will be for fourth. And here comes Eli Bright on Sammy Sabby Jr. Eli trying to give the Bright family another win. It's it's uh it's amazing we ha really haven't had a dominator yet in this league. Really, I mean the Legacy family members dominated season one, but no one has dominated season two. It's like every other race we have a different winner. Whoa, Riley Sammy Sammy Jr. way up high. He's going to lose a lot of spots. Marcus Sanchez in the 41 car moving up. So goodbye, Sammy Sammy Jr., at least for now. And Al Legacy is being passed now. And we are all still following Matt Boyer. Ten laps have been completed. We got 30 to go. Pat Boyer trying to find redemption after his horrible Bristol race. He stalled during the first half of the race. Was trapped four laps down. Was never able to rebound. But did move up a little bit. Due to the certain cautions and wrecks. And we're single file for the first eight spots. Here comes the five car, Kaka White Line, trying to pass Marcus Sanchi. White Line won her first career Bush Series win earlier in the season at Langley. She finally got that monkey off her back, as they say. But they are all chasing the 90 car. The rookie. There's no rookie stripe, but he is a rookie. And we have gone 12 laps without a caution flag. Uh, typically, this Charlotte doesn't produce much cautions because it's the older version. Patrick Smith trying to get underneath the 8 of Eli Bright. But just could not do it. Eli Bright made a peek. Just did not get underneath him. Oh, we've got Zachary Fitzwater way wide. We got the 22 car supporting Miller Light. 
colors for this race. There's our points leader, Derek Camille, having a good run, but has yet to pick up a win. And they are still all chasing Matt Boyer. No relation to Clint Boyer, I believe. But then again, you never know. Eli Bright still on the back bumper. You just can't get a good run to get around these drivers most of the time. As we complete yet another lap under green. Basically right now it's a two car race. The two car tango. What it's called at the super speedways. Single file. Eli Bright once again peeking. Up oh, here we go. Possible battle for the lead. And Eli Bright completes the pass. Lead change. Here comes the 41, Marcus Sanchi. Eli Bright, he wants to lead this race. He is, at least for one lap. Eli Bright leads here at Charlotte. Here comes Marcus Sanchi for the lead. Marcus Sanchi could have, would have, should have won the Season 2 Truck Series Championship, but certain things happen in the season finale at Las Vegas. Sanchi lost his championship. I'm pretty sure he's still mad about that. Pretty mad. Of, I'm still mentioning that. But it's the biggest career highlight of Sanchi's career. Coulda, woulda, shoulda been champion. Got wrecked out through no fault of his own. It wasn't his fault at all. He just got caught up in someone else's mistake. And it cost him a championship, which it's very hard to win one of those. And these are basically like team cars. They look like it. Eli Bright and Marcus Sanchi. 22, Daniel Gerchach taking second place. I mean, third place. Riley Spiller, two up to fourth. And Matt Boyer has gone back on the inside in fifth. Next time by, it'll be the halfway mark. We've had no cautions. We've had clean racing so far. Here comes Eli Bright to the inside line. Can he clear? No, he cannot. Riley Sproley, too, and the double zero moving up again. Matt Boyer under the double zero. Here comes Zachary Fitzwater in the nine, being pushed by the 77, Diego Yepes. As we are past the halfway mark, this race is official if it rains, which it never will. Chuttle on the 71 car has moved up into the top 10, the all-time race winner with 24 career wins. Two of those come in here in the Bush Series. Here comes the 90, Matt Boyer under Eli Bright. Ooh. Eli Bright dove down right in front of Matt Boyer, and it'll be Eli Bright leading yet another lap. Laps are winding down for these drivers. 17 to go next time by. Matt Boyer right on the back bumper. Wants his lead back, and here he goes. Can he clear? He's trying. And Matt Boyer leads that lap. Here comes Marcus Sanchi, though. Diego Yepes in the 77 car. Trying to go for second. Nope, not enough. And Matt Boyer will continue to lead another lap.
basically. We're single file for up front. But here comes Diego Yepes again for second place. Looking to become the first driver to win twice here in season two. Nope, just can't get under Sanchi. And another lap has been completed without a caution. Let's see who's in the last car award right now. That would be Nick Kennedy in the 19. Not a good race for Nick Kennedy. Nick Kennedy, who scored a last place finish at Martinsville. Just trying to have a good season. Matt Boyer continues to hold the race lead. Here comes Marcus Sanchi being helped by Diego Yepes. 13 to go. Diego Yepes going for second. Can he clear Sanchi? And he's trying. Here comes Chuttle. In a 71 car. I mentioned him earlier. The all-time race winner. With 24 career wins. He's going for third with 12 laps to go. However, it is Matt Boyer who is shining the most here at Charlotte. Here comes Diego Yepes, though, in the 77 car. Right on his back bumper. 11 laps to go. We got a driver who has never won. In his entire career here in the SCRL, we got another driver that has just recently picked up his first win and wants another taste of it. And we got the all-time race winner in third, Diego Yepes, trying to clear. Matt Boyer just can't do it. Here comes Trent on the outside. Now the inside. And that's going to allow Matt Boyer to pull away a little bit as we come to 10 laps to go here at Charlotte. The turn number two, Diego Yepes Just being pushed by Chuttle. Chuttle makes a move for second. Can he clear to 77? Not yet. Nine to go. Shuttle has two career wins here in the Bush Series. He won at Asheville and Rockingham in Season 1. Here comes Fitzwater for third. Being pushed by Daniel Gerchoch. Eight laps to go this time by. Let's see who has the fastest lap. That would be the 41 car, Marcus Sanchi. And Sanchi is right there, about to fall outside the top 10. Chuttle is on the back bumper of Matt Boyer. Can he get the run? No, he cannot. Be seven laps to go this time, Bob. We got a two car breakaway. To turn two, here comes the 22. Daniel Gerchok with a huge head of with a huge run. Here comes Truddle for the race lead. And Truddle clears. Six laps to go. Daniel Gerchok's the second. Matt Boyer back to third. He's had the dominant car. All race long. He's going to try and reclaim second. Not yet. 
And to turn number four, five laps to go this time. We got a three car breakaway. Matt Boyer going for second. He wants his lead back. Here comes Diego Yepes to help out. Who's he going to help though? He's going to try to make it three wide. Yes, he is. Three wide into turn number three. And this is just going to help the 71 car. Here comes Derek Camille in the 42. Our points leader. Four to go. Here comes Diego Yepes with a huge run into turn number two. He's got to try and catch the 71. Matt Boyer back to third. Here comes Marcus Sanchi trying to pass our points leader. Remember, Sanchi does have the fastest car, so we'll see if that helps him any. As we get three laps to go. Diego Yepes has caught the 71. When do you make your move? He's going to make it now. Not yet. If a caution comes out, the race will be over. So these drivers have to think about that. Do you go now or do you wait? Shuttle goes wide. Here comes the 77. But Shuttle her run on the outside. Two laps to go. Single file for the first seven spots. And to turn number one and to turn number two. Shuttle goes wide, trying to get a run. Down the back stretch. Here comes Matt Boyer off a run. Into turn number three, into turn number four. White flag, one lap to go. Does anybody have anything for the 71 car? Into turn number one, into turn number two. These two cars trying to draft together, trying to catch the 71, but they're losing ground. Into turn number three. Matt Boyer tried to peak, but he just can't do it. And off the final turn, the all-time race winner, Shuttle, with 24 career wins, scores his 25th here at Charlotte. And whoa, we got a wreck as they come across the line. Whoa. Yeah, it figures they wreck right after we take the checkered flag. Here are your race results. Truttle scores his 25th win of his career. That is the most out of any driver in SCRL history. Second is Diego Yepes. Third, Matt Boyer. Fourth, Marcus Sanchi. Fifth, Con Vargas. Sixth, Gustavo Ochoa. Seventh, Carter Friesian. Eighth, Ian Carnelli. Ninth, Al Legacy. And tenth was Chris Kyle. Rest of your race results. No one was out, despite that huge wreck coming to the checkered flag. So that is it for the 12th race of the season here at Charlotte. We will take you to victory lane with the all-time race winner, Truttle. Here are your point standings of the 12th race of the season at Charlotte. Jack Legacy, our Season 1 champion, has finally climbed atop the, the point standings. He has a one-point lead over Derek Camille. The third is Jay Jefferson, seven points behind. Fourth is Gene Carnelli, 39 points behind. And fifth is Riley Spurley, 257 points behind. Sixth is Sam Oskins. Seventh is Keke Whiteline. Eighth is Sammy Sabri Jr. Ninth is Zachary Fitzwater. And tenth is Diego Yepes. Eleventh is Brian Fox. Twelfth, James Stablito. Thirteenth, Al Legacy. Fourteenth, Matt Boyer. Fifteenth is Chris Kyle. Sixteenth, Gatlin Downey. Seventeenth, A.J. Jones. Eighteenth, Sebastian Torres. Nineteenth, Ryan Boyer. And 20th is Maria Valverin. 21st is Joshua Rush. 22nd is Daniel Gerchach. 23rd is Matt Hamill. 24th, Henry Urchman. 25th, Alexo Antonio. 26th, Connor Hurley. 27th, Patrick Smith. 28th, Eric Wayne. 29th, Gustav Ochoa. And 30th is Zaptos Amritos. 31st is Eli Bright. 32nd is Carter Friesian. 33rd is Nick Kennedy. 34th is Toby Fox. 35th is Shuttle. 
who just won Charlotte. 36 is Marco Jepez. 37th is Marcus Sanchi. 38th is Christian Vargas. 39th is Colin Vargas. And 40th is Tony Newman. 41st is Joe Jefferson. 42nd is Ordi Centaur. And 43rd is Kaka Silverpaw. So that is your points. That is of the 12th race season at Charlotte. We will next see you at the 13th race of the season at the South Boston Speedway. And until then, keep the hammer down and we'll see you at the track.